So I devised a little bit of a strategy to start my medium wave uh, DXing. One, I decided I'm not going to use the logging software that I use for uh, shortwave reception. There are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, I use DXStream Reception Log, which is a great program, um, and I uh, encourage everyone to check it out. Um, it is geared towards shortwave listeners. Um, but the only way to really use it quickly is if the transmitter side information, station information, etc. is all already in the database, which it is for most international broadcasters on that program. If you're having to create a log from scratch, um, you can get really bogged down. Um, so I decided that I would keep my medium wave record separate and just make um, uh, pages spreadsheets. So what I did this afternoon, while um, stations are local stations are broadcasting um, at uh, stronger um, kilowattages, um, I went ahead and logged what I could hear on the medium wave spectrum and noted, uh, according to the World Radio TV Handbook or uh, my research, which stations will still be on the air at night and which stations are daytime only, and those that will be on the air, what power they'll be transmitting at. And that should help me identify uh, more of the stations that I hear uh, in the pileups that you get on medium wave late at night. Um, all of these stations would be ground wave propagation because it is about 2 o'clock local time here, um, about uh, 1800 hours Zulu. Um, so that's just a little bit of an update. Hopefully I can get the hang of this medium wave DXing thing. Uh, I am surprised by how different the skill set is from shortwave listening. Um, both are very systematic, but it's a different set of practices, uh, it seems, to uh, do medium wave DXing well. All right, thanks so much, guys, and 73.